Hey guys, so today I got in my second HackRF, and this one I bought from OpenSDR Lab. So if you're interested in HackRF, um, of course I always recommend going directly through Great Scott Gadgets and any of their partners, but one option out there for those who are looking for something really affordable is OpenSDR Lab. Uh, got this one. Um, it was well under 200, the whole thing. Uh, so you have a nice little metal case on this one. It's a little thick and uh, it has a nice button here or a, <clears throat> a knob that is a little different, but I actually liked it and I wanted to get something a little different anyway this time. Um, just might as well have two different ones. So also came with this micro USB cable. So for charging it and for powering it up, so it comes with a battery. Now, one thing I do want to note is some of the batteries have different sizes, so make sure to take a look at that. If you want it to be powered on longer, look for a um, longer powered on battery, so a larger battery. Um, so if you're shopping for a Hacker F, that is one thing to keep in mind. This one has a larger battery, so it should last a little longer powered on, on traveling. Uh, this one that I got today uh, from OpenSDR Labs, purchase. Um, this one came with the antenna that's on it right now, the micro USB cable, comes with the battery, the port pack hacker F, and this antenna as well. So came with that in that package and then also had this over this. So I was a little too excited to do the unboxing. So I just had to check it out first. But one thing I do want to note, on this particular order, and this may be the case for you as well, uh, didn't come with a micro SD card. So what that means is it has a little notice here and it tells you that certain external app directories are empty. So even though it has the latest firmware, it doesn't have all the apps because some of them on the latest firmware are actually stored on the micro SD card. So what you'll want to do if yours doesn't come with a micro SD card is you're going to want to download the files for the micro SD card. That includes firmware and all the different uh, files that you'll need for scrolling through uh, different... Let me show you actually. So if I want to go to the looking glass, for example, and go down here to looking glass. Now I won't have all of the different ranges here. So if you are wondering why you don't have that, it's probably you don't have it extracted to the micro SD card. So you're going to want to extract all those files to the micro SD card. Um, and then you'll have the different ranges as well accessible to the applications. So I just wanted to show it off today. I have some plans uh, for the second Hacker F, and uh, so I just thought it would be you know nice to show that I got it and what it comes with. So this is a, as you can see the logo Open SDR Labs. So take a look at them if you are on a real budget and you can't afford another one. Uh, Open SDR Labs has some good prices out there. So take a look at them. Comes with everything that I have here. And it looks like it's going to work out really well. So just wanted to share that today. And I'll be back later with more on the Hacker F, how to protect your security and privacy.